Today I'm going to share with you how to make an easy DIY backdrop for your next summer party. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to share with you how I made this cute and adorable backdrop for Riley's party. To be honest, I had no idea what I was doing, but I found a whole bunch of different inspo pics on Pinterest and I really wanted to recreate the look. Also, I wanted to share with you guys just how easy it is to make this and put it up and put it all together so that you can make this for your next summer party. It's a really great moment for taking pictures and just documenting whatever party it is whether it's a bridal shower, baby shower, birthday party, you name it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And for those of you guys who are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. The night before I was finishing up all the farm animals that would be at the base of the backdrop and her whole theme was old McDonald themed party and I found a whole bunch of pictures on Pinterest so all I really did was just look at them and drew out what I wanted each of the farm animals to look like. The cardboard that I picked up is a trifold cardboard that I had actually got from the Dollar Tree and then I cut it all out and really just started to paint it to make it really look like little animals that were going to be at her party. I really wanted this backdrop to be the entrance to her party and really just let everybody know what the theme was and to have a good time. The next day I ended up blowing up a bunch of balloons and afterwards I was so lightheaded but it was so worth it to see how everything turned out. So we actually ended up using a backdrop that you can actually use for like videos and things like that. So I wanted this to be the base and then what I was going to do is tape all of the balloons and cover this entire thing. Now I will say that it was a very very windy day so the thing kept falling down and we ended up losing a bunch of balloons so we had to blow up some more so I will suggest that if you also are going to do this on a windy day to put it up against the fence a huge thank you to my mother-in-law she helped me put this whole entire thing together she helped pass me balloons and everything like that if it wasn't for her I really don't think we would have gotten this up in time so she is amazing don't know what it is to do to me yeah where you go 
Yeah. 